Hello there, I am Janko with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part we took on our champion rival, uh, in my case Matt, yeah we beat him in a battle, and the credits rolled and everything, and I caught um, 68 Pokemon, or I own 68 Pokemon now. I think the m minimum you to get the National Dex is 60, so I, I guess I want, I just caught 68 I guess just so I could have a little bit more than 60 but the minimum you need to have is 60 Pokemon owned to get the national decks also um, my me and grew, grew to level 62 off screen when I was trading uh, like a Caterpie to raise it all the way to Butterfree and same with a Weedle going all the way to Beedrill so yeah and uh, Giant Green is level 60, Airbender is level 60, Firefox is level 60, Strymon is level 61, uh, Triple Cuff is level 61 and my me is level 62 so yeah so with, now with 60 or more Pokemon caught, or owned, let's go back to Professor Oak's lab, and I'm just going to walk there, apparently, yeah. Okay, so if we talk to him, he'll say, Good to see you. How's your Pokedex coming along? You want me to take a look. The amount of Pokemon, the amount of progress you've made on your Pokedex is 141 Pokemon seen, and 68 Pokemon owned. Professor Oak's rating, ha, ah, this is turning into the, quite the respectable Pokedex. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. And now, oh, this is excellent. Ah, now this is excellent. Steven, I have another important favor to ask of you. I need you to listen closely. Recently, there have been sightings of many of our Pokemon species. I'm talking about people, pe Pokemon, not people, Pokemon that have never been seen in Kanto. I would love to go see things for myself, but I'm much too old. Since I can't do it, Steven, I'd like you to go in my place. Okay, and here's Matt. Uh, hey, I heard that. Grandpa, why are you favoring Steven over me all the time? I want to I want to collect more Pokemon and faster too. You should just let me handle everything. I know I know, of course I need your help too. Now I need to see both of your Pokedexes. Okay, okay Professor I took both Pokedex units. Put them on the desk. And ah that's done. Now these units can record data of a lot more Pokemon. We got the uh, Steven's Pokedex was upgraded. Cool. Now Steven and Matt, this time you really must work towards filling your Pokedex is I urge you to make them the best and the most complete of all time. That's not what's gonna happen, so I professor Oak, not for me. I guess Matt can take this one for sure. <laughs> Truly this is the a monumental great undertaking in Pokemon history. Gramps uh, Matt says, Gramps calm down, don't be don't get so excited. I'll get the Pokedex completed. Don't you worry about a thing. I think I'll try looking around one island first. Anyways I'm out of here. So that's a little hunch to go out to one island then. So let's do the same. We have to fly to Vimmer and see though, because that's where the dock is and the way we can get on the boat to one island. Let's, shoot, let's just fly to Vimmer and City. Yeah. So yeah, but if you look at your Pokedex, you can actually record. Yeah, see there's the national mode right here. Bulbasaur, and then this is all Kanto Pokemon right here. And should be going up further than that. It's not showing in that. Oh wait, we have we wait. We haven't seen a national dex worthy Pokemon yet. I am so dumb. Okay, so let's just go into the. It's like how? Wait, how are they not seeing like the Jodo Hope, Jodo Hoenn Pokemon in here? I haven't seen any of those, so it's not gonna show it. Okay. Ah, oh, you have a tri pass. Would you like to board this, sir? The board a so go up. Very, I guess. Let's go to one eye on first, yeah. Okay, everything's in order. See, see, gal, up. High speed seven will be departing immediately. And yeah, we're, we're going over to one island basically. Okay, so here's one island. Okay. Let's just go in here, I guess. Let's talk to Celio. Um, Steven, how have things been for you? It, oh, that's right, you caught more Pokemon. Do you know what? Um, maybe I can be this. Maybe I can be. Maybe I can be useful to you. I'm modifying the network machine. Um, right now, I'm cha I'm changing it, it so it can handle trades over long distances. When I'm when I get finished, you'll be trading for exotic Pokemon from trainers far away. But there is a slight catch. For the link to work, the machine needs a special gemstone. It's supposed to be on one island, but I haven't found one yet. Who knows where it could be? Okay, so we're gonna just find that. It's obviously in Mount Ember because I played this game before, twice before my channel. So yeah, let's go on, surf on our Starman, our Starmie, and let's put a repel on. I don't think we have a repel on at all. Okay, forty-six repels left still. Okay, cool. 
Okay. Just kind of run past here. Since that Pokemon, uh, since like for example, your Giant Green is six, level 60 now, I can repel Pokemon from the level 59 and below, and all these Pokemon are not close to even 50. So, well, they're kind of close to 50, I guess, but you know. Oh well. We have to go basically all the way to Mount Ember, which shouldn't take that long. Especially with no Pokemon really being able to encounter. That will, no no Pokemon will be seen really because the repels it's repelled off by the repel the max repel to be exact. So here we are in Mount Ember, nice. Okay, so remember these two rocket grunts right there? Now they dug a hole or something, you know. Phew, punch through at last. Let's go treasure hunting. Any treasure we find, we'll haul back to the warehouse. Understood? Oh, and what are the passwords at the Team Rocket warehouse? I mean, what? You forgot the password? There's actually two. The first one is Goldine Need Log. And the second one is... Tell me the second one. Hey, this snoop has been listening in. Guess we have to battle him. We have to battle both of them, I believe. You've been eavesdropping, You've been eavesdropping on us, haven't you? Yes, I have. Okay, it's Team Rocket Grunt. Okay, yeah. He's gonna send out Cubone. Sorry for you, but I have a grass type up front, silly. So I get the type advantage. Let's go for the Razor Leaf. It hits. Awesome. Nice. There we go. Marowak next. Again, we're gonna go for the Razor Leaf again. This so Marowak's level 37. I think the Cubone was also level 37. I think both of them are male. So let's take it out. Yeah. Nice. Should my gun. Huh? What? Thanks for the eleven dollars and eighty-four cents, man. Where? Where do you have? Why do you have to win? Heh. <laughs> Sorry, man. Trying to horn in on our treasure. Don't bet on it. Okay, fine. We'll battle then. We won't bet. We'll battle. And then he'll give me prize money for me winning. <laughs> he has four Pokemon. It's first Pokemon of Rata. Okay. I guess we'll go for the um, Razor Leaf again. It's level 35 male, but it goes down one hit. Awesome. Too aggressive. Let's use Radicate. Okay. Let's go for another Razor Leaf. This Radicate's level 35 male. Okay, cool. And it, when it kills it, nice. Cool. Sandshrew, okay. Pokemon that's actually weak to grass type moves. It's level 35 male. And Razor Leaf hits once again. Awesome. That's what I like to see. And the, the Sandshrew goes down one hit. Nice. And then finally, his fourth Pokemon is a Sand Slash. So again, we're going to use Razor Leaf because it's going to be super effective. It's level 35 male. That's good. But you're going to have to go down. There we go. Nice. Critical hit. Okay, good. With that uh, giant green, good level 61, yay. If you team rocket grunt, cool. Wait, but how? Thanks for the love noise and 20 cents, man. Because I beat you in the Pokemon battle, obviously. I had tougher Pokemon than you. Develop in nature conveniently and forget everything you've heard. With what a setback, we'll have to regroup. You don't even think about taking a step inside here. If you know what's good for you, don't even think about this. Okay. I think the last word in that dialogue was lit this. Although I kind of cooked a little too fast, so I'm not for sure. Let's put um, a bender up front, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, I think I still have a pole that's still on, right? Or lingers, I mean, for my way. Yeah, okay. So this is, um, I forgot to read what it is, actually. Let's go back out and go back in it. Okay, yeah. This is still Mount Ember, actually. Dang it, okay. Cool. I think the only move, the only HM we'll need to get through, to get through here is strength. So, yeah. Oh, my Poe off. Let's put another Poe on then. Cool. Okay, let's move this boulder with strength two to the right. Okay, there we go. And we want to move this one over to the right one. And up this one, and that one up one. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're deeper into it. So yeah, let's put let's use strength again. Once to put once to the right and then once down. That should make it easier. 
And if you mess up, you can just go down, up, and down the ladder, and at least the boulders. I think if we go down here, we can get an item or something. Just have to move to the right, or left a little bit, like a lot, actually. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is actually where we find the ruby. Nice, which is the, one of the gemstones of two that we need. Okay, we found a, a ruby. Nice. Put the, we put the rubies in the camera's pocket. I don't know what this braille says, so I don't know. It says something. It probably says something about the ruby being like a treasure here. That's my guess. So yeah, we went the right way on on accident actually, because I want to go the wrong way to get the item first. So let's move this boulder again to the right this time. Move it out of the way. Yeah, okay, we got this. Can we just leave it there? Okay, let's go to the... I think if we go to the right, there's actually the exit, too. So, the thing is, I have to move this one to the right, move this one to the left. Yeah. And we can go up this ladder, and then up this ladder again for another level, and then up another ladder, and then our way is out, basically. So, actually, you want to go to the left first to get the ruby, and then you can go to the right and follow the way I did to get out easily. But I don't have the backtrack. So, that's good. So now we got the ruby, we can actually fly to one island again. So yeah. Okay, let's talk to Celio and see what he says. Now that we found one of the two ruby, uh, two gemstones, we need to um, get the machine going. Oh, that that's we ended up with the ruby too, Celio. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, Steven. You're simply amazing. Um, may I ask you a giant favor of you? Sure, why not? While I was studying gemstones, I discovered something important. There's another gem that forms a pair with this ruby. The other gemstone is supposed to be in the Sevi Islands. Steven, please, I need you to find the other gem. Steven, may I have your, your fairy pass and the town map? We return the tribe pass and receive the rainbow pass. Obtain an extra page of the town map. This is my this is my own fairy pass. I will let you get to... It'll, it will let you get to all of the Sevi Islands. Steven, please, I can't do this without your help. So basically, he also needs a Sapphire as another gemstone, the second gemstone of two. My pull off right there, so it's actually a good timing it wear off. Um, so yeah. So it's like, it's like, I think they predicted, um, or there was a, I think this may have been like an Easter egg, that, um, there was a Ruby and a Sapphire needed to make that machine work to connect to Hoenn. But, um, this game came, Fire Red and Leaf Green came out in 2004. I think, uh, Ruby and Sapphire came around came out in like 2005-2006, but I could be wrong, but it may have been an easter egg uh, referencing to Ruby and Sapphire, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, I'm not really for sure though. Let's go to, um, let's go to Four Island, now that we have the Rainbow Pass, we can actually go on to Four Island, Five Island, and Six Island, and Seven Island, so, that's pretty cool, more islands to explore. Oh yeah, here's, um, Here's uh, Matt. Hey Steven, don't worry, he won't battle you. What are you doing here on in the Seven Islands? You should quit copy me, you know? Anyways, I got, I've got i already got my Pokemon egg, so I'm done with this island. Hey, hey I bet you don't even know what, about Pokemon eggs. You'll never fill your national Pokedex that way. I'm not trying to, honestly. I'm just trying to, you know, eventually get to Mewtwo and eventually get to Entei, basically, till I can catch both of them. That's my goal. Okay, uh, by the way, I saw someone we both knew on this island. Why don't you go look around if it makes you curious? Me? I don't have the time to waste. Be smelling ya. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, and talk about Loiwai, because if you, I think, um, after you get the national deck, so Loiwai will, um, come back to Foy Island, because Foy Island is her hometown or home island where she grew up and stuff and was born. So let's go to, um, let's go to Three Island, actually. Because I, I forgot to show off something. And hopefully it's there. I mean, after the National Pokedex, if to get the National Dex, you should be, it should be, you know, a big old tunnel here. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Let's put another pill on just in case. Well, I guess there's Dense Barses too, which we don't mess, we don't want to, um, f forget seeing that. Okay, hello there. How's it going? Did you hear I struck gold? I remember that, you remember that I was prospecting, don't, didn't you? Uh, you can't begin to imagine just how happy I am. So I'll show you. This is for you. Oh, we got the nugget. Cool. That's a nugget. I can't give you any nuggets of wisdom, so that'll have to do. I got, I got, tw at one time, man, I had 255 nuggets, thanks to the nugget glitch. Here's the three aisle port, uh, whatever it said. Um, I think it, you can fi find, um, dense voices in here. So, uh, Let's see if we have a repel on. I don't think we have a repel on. We shouldn't. 
Okay, do I, have to ha I was about to say, do I have to hop on my bike to even get it as a higher um, appearance rate? This stun spice is level 30. So I guess we're gonna wing attack. I'm not planning on really catching any one of these, I just wanna show it off. Yeah, there we go. Oh, cool. I will be able to catch it. Nice. Cool. Reduce wing attack to, to, to by three, I guess, because you're spite. Okay, let's use a um. Let's use a pokeball on this thing. One, two, three. Quick. Okay, cool. That sparse was caught. Nice. That sparse today was out of the Pokedex. Yeah, it's number 260, it's on number 206 in the National Dex. His name is Dunsparce, of course, it's the land Pokemon. It's 4 feet 11 inches tall, it weighs 30.9 pounds. When spotted, this Pokemon escapes backward by furiously boring into the ground with its tail. Okay. Let's name this, um... Let's name this, nickname this, uh, Dunsparce Dune. Or uh, Duns. Yeah, Duns sounds like a cool nickname. Duns. <laughs> cool. It was placed in the box too. Cool. Nice. So if you look at our Pokedex, actually, now we call it like a, you know, a um, Pokemon that uh, is not in the Kanto Dex. It's in the National Dex. So actually, expand all these pages right here. See all these pages. And they have Dunsparce. Nice. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's our start to our National Dex, I guess. But again, I won't be catching all the Pokemon in the National Dex. So yeah, I'm just gonna skip out on that. Um, let's go to... to what, now that we've been... Wait, I'm, we haven't been at the Pokemon Center in Fly Island yet. Dang it, we could fly there, but um, we have to ferry there, I believe. So let's go to Fly Island again. He says the same thing, basically. Okay, cool. And these currents are too... Um, fast to um, surf on, yeah, and then you need a rock smash to get through that. I think it gives you an item. Over here, I think, is a hidden item, but I want to really go look for it, honestly. And up here is the Pokemon Center. So, yeah. Okay, now that we healed up, here's the daycare. We can talk to his wife, I guess. And uh, they'll, they'll raise the Pokemon. Pokemon, just like the daycare south of Shuen City in Kanto. I'm the daycare lady. We raised Pokemon for you. Would you like to raise one? Nah, I'm good. Okay, fine. Come again. Okay, so that's what she said. I kind of cooked too fast. Now let's talk to his, her husband. Um, I'm the daycare man. I help take care of the precious Pokemon of trainers. If you'd like me to raise your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. I know I've already had a word with your wife, and I, I don't want to um, raise any of. Um, I don't want you guys to raise any of my Pokemon. So I. Okay, oh, here's Loyalai's house. Let's talk to this girl. Oh, you found me. Please don't tell Loyalai. Did you th know that Loyalai has lots of, lo has lots and lots of stuffed dolls? Every time she comes back to Foron, her collection grows. It's cool. I guess we can go. Uh, let's go in her house first, I guess. Yeah, look at all these Poke dolls. Stuffed uh, Pokemon dolls galore. Stuffed Pokemon dolls galore. I think it says the same thing for like all these. Yeah, okay. She has a Wigglytuff and a Slowpoke. I think this might be a Slowbro because I see the little thing on its tail, the little shelter thing. Um, a Slowpoke, yeah, Slowpoke's right next to it. Slowpoke, uh, here's a um, Slowbro, here's a Psyduck. Here is a Wigglytuff, I believe. Yeah, it looks like a Wigglytuff. Could possibly be a Jigglypuff. I'm like 90% sure that's a Wigglytuff. A Pikachu and a Seal. So she's not here actually, so, but she should be somewhere on this island, so that's good. Well, actually, I know there's someone, she's on this island. Just in a different place we haven't looked yet. Okay, let's sell that nugget we just got, um, from, uh, the, the tunnel man from two island or whatnot, or three island, I mean. Let's go for, yeah, let's sell the nugget. Nice, okay, we're 5,000 poker dollars rich, richer now. Yay. Okay. So, let's go surfing right here, and we can get that item actually. Let's put a repel on though first, just to be safe. I don't want to run into any wall Pokemon really. Okay, cool. Here's an item, I think it's an... Okay, I, I had no guess really. It's a Stardust, cool, we can also sell that too. Let's talk to you. Oh, chili! I made a... I, ma I made a slushy using ice and... Sh I sh I shaved in Icefall Cave. It's chilly and tasty. That's cool. 
So yeah, we're gonna take on Icefall Cave in the next part. Hopefully we run into Lori there, because she might be there, she might not. Ha ha ha. It's kinda obvious if you played the game before though, and got to this point. And past it, of course, past this point. So yeah, this has been the end of my Pokemon Leaf Green video walk the part. Next part, we'll do just that. So this has been Draco again. I would like to like for you again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green video walkthrough guide. <laughs>